When you open a book, what's the first thing you do? I know, you look at the pictures. When you open the newspaper, the first thing you do is to look at the funnies. Yes, you look at the pictures. Why do boys and girls go to the movies? They go to the movies because they like the pictures. Well, I like pictures too. We all like pictures because every picture tells a story. Now, I'm not going to show you any pictures this morning, but I am going to tell you a story. This story is about a man who drew pictures. The man was an artist. He painted pictures. I suppose that I had better tell you the artist's name. Well, his name was Lloyd. Lloyd was an old man. For over 40 years, Lloyd had painted pictures. Pictures of trees, pictures of mountains, pictures of rivers, pictures of ladies, pictures of horses. Why Lloyd could paint anything? People came from all over the world to see and buy Lloyd's pictures. One day, Lloyd decided that he would paint the most beautiful picture in the world. It would be Lloyd's last picture, because Lloyd knew that he had not long to live. Well, Lloyd thought about his picture for a long time. He planned his picture. He thought about his picture. He wanted his picture to be the most beautiful picture in the world. It was to be a picture of heaven, and, of course, a picture of heaven would have to be good. That's why Lloyd spent so much time planning his picture. After several months, Lloyd began to paint his picture of heaven. He took his time. He was very careful. Lloyd didn't want to make any mistakes. Lloyd wanted his picture to be the most beautiful picture in the world. Lloyd spent many months on his picture. He worked day and night. At last, the picture was finished. It was beautiful. A beautiful picture of heaven. In the center of the picture stood Jesus. Mary and Joseph stood at his side. There were angels in the picture. Popes, bishops, priests, nuns, doctors, lawyers, nurses, teachers, mothers, fathers, Indians, Negroes, cowboys. Every person in the picture had a smile. Everyone seemed to be happy. The old painter was happy too. His picture was finished. He had painted the most beautiful picture in the world. Lloyd was tired but happy. He went to bed and fell asleep. In the middle of the night, the old painter awoke. His room was a blaze of light. There was a stranger in the room. A stranger with a brush in his hand. The stranger was painting on Lloyd's picture. The old painter jumped out of his bed. Stop! Stop! he cried. You are spoiling my picture. No, no, said the stranger softly. I am not spoiling your picture. You spoil the picture and I am making it right. Don't you know, Lloyd, that there should be children in your picture? Why, heaven is filled with children, and children belong in your picture. The stranger smiled, and the painter smiled too. But just then, Lloyd felt that he knew the stranger. Yes, he did know the stranger. Why, the stranger was Jesus. Yes, Lloyd was looking into the face of Jesus. Before Lloyd could say another word, Jesus disappeared. Lloyd was alone, alone with his picture. The old painter looked at his picture. There were children in the picture. Jesus had painted children in the picture. The picture had not been spoiled. In fact, the picture was more beautiful than ever. Of course, Lloyd was very happy. Jesus had helped with his beautiful picture. Jesus had helped Lloyd to paint the most beautiful picture in the world. Heaven is filled with children. Jesus said those words over 1900 years ago, and that's just what Jesus said to the old painter. Heaven is for children. Heaven belongs to you. You belong in heaven close to Jesus and Mary and Joseph. You know, boys and girls, sometimes people think that children are not important. Well, that's wrong. Jesus doesn't think that way. Oh no, Jesus thinks that boys and girls are mighty important. Jesus wants every single boy and girl in this world to go to heaven. Jesus wants you to go to heaven. Jesus wants you to save your soul. Remember, there's only one thing that can keep you out of heaven. That's mortal sin. That's why I am always telling you to keep away from sin. Keep away from mortal sin. Someday I hope to go to heaven. When I walk into heaven, I am going to see the most beautiful picture in the world. 
I hope that every one of you will be in that picture. I want to meet you in heaven. Jesus wants to meet you in heaven. Jesus wants you to be in the most beautiful picture in the world. You will be there, won't you?